Kiss. So it is showing a, a plant there, and this plant, there's a leaf, one of the leaves on one side is having a leaf that is attached within a flask and it is sealed so that what is inside the flask does not escape. Then on the other side, we have a similar arrangement. Where we have a leaf that is also within a flask. and the ends are sealed to avoid any escape. Then this plant it is potted, so it is in a container co having some soil. So, and inside here, they are placed sodium hydroxide pellets and this is a leaf Q, this is leaf P. Then this one is a transparent flask. And also, we have another transparent flask this side. So learners, let us also understand that uh, when we have uh, photosynthesis taking place, we have, must have some factors that are being investigated. So we are going to look at this question and see which factors are being investigated. But before we do that, let us study the, the diagram. So here we have a leaf, these uh, sealed parts do not allow anything, any gas to enter or any gas to leave. That is either carbon dioxide or oxygen. The same thing applies to here, they are also sealed. Then uh, we are seeing sodium hydroxide pellets here. Remember sodium hydroxide uh, is, uh, is, it reacts with the carbon dioxide and also absorbs water molecules in there. In, in, the, in, the, in the flask. Then let us, at, let us look at the questions. Why was the potted plant kept in the dark overnight? So here this question has nothing to do with the diagram, but it has something to do with what was done before the experiment was set up. And the reason was this was to deter, distach. This was to distach the leaves. You know, uh, when, uh, a pl during the day, the plant undergoes, ph undergoes photosynthesis and what is produced is, is a glucose. And we have said that uh, after glucose has been produced, it is utilized. Some of it is utilized in, in the process of, uh, like here we have already said, some is converted to starch here for storage and the other, and the others used for, for other functions. So... During the night, is that the conversion of glucose uh, of starch is converted into glucose also at that time. So here we have got this starching of the leaves. So the leaves are discharged. Then B, which factor was being investigated in the experiment? So here the factor, we look at factors within the, because the experiment is taking place in the flasks. 
So what is in the flask? So the factor that uh, what is required for this process to take place is carbon dioxide, and you know there's carbon dioxide within the flask. But because of sodium hydroxide pellets, that carbon dioxide reacts with it. So that's the purpose. This uh, sodium hydroxide is put here as a control experiment. So here we the the factor under investigation is actually carbon dioxide concentration. Carbon dioxide concentration. Because it is the one which is the requirement. Uh, we, we cannot talk about uh, any other factor. Because temperature, we don't see any, any, anything to do with the temperature there. We don't see anything to do with the availability of water there. And the ex control experiment is removing one side, is removing carbon dioxide. Then uh, from, uh, part C, which test did the which test did the students perform to confirm photosynthesis in the leaves labeled P and Q? So which is the test? So here they're asking the test for, because we are talking about destarching. So they were looking for the test of starch. If starch is present or absent. So here we just say uh, test for starch. Test for starch. So the, here, the knowledge that is normally acquired in the practical is also going to be applied here. Test for starch. And this one, we are going to see in the next part of the question C, where the examiner is asking, state the results obtained in leaves P and Q in Roman 1 above. So remember this test here, the test. So they want the results for P and they want the results for Q. Uh, 